most camps encourage participants to bring cameras, binoculars, journals, and drawing pads. Campers are usually not allowed to pick or collect anything at camp. Photos are a great way for them to share what they have discovered. If you send a camera to camp, remind your camper to ask counselors to take some pictures with him in them. You may get a lot of pictures of flowers, bugs, water, leaves, or other splendid shots of nature. But as parents, we sure would like to see our own kids in those beautiful surroundings. Pack a change of clothes for your child in a plastic bag. You may also want to include a towel. If your child's camp provides swim time at a pool or waterfront area, there will be information given to you about swimsuits, towels, goggles, and additional sunscreen. If your camp does not have swimming activities, there may be other waterfront events such as canoeing, fishing, stream study, or habitat exploration. Any activity in or near water can result in an unexpected swim, so a change of clothes will make for a more comfortable afternoon for your child. Remember to put your child's name on everything. It really helps camp staff to get belongings to the rightful owner. Do not send or allow your child to bring electronics or toys. Camp is an active, fun-filled time, and stuffed animals or action figures do not belong here. They tend to get misplaced or dirty, and certainly distract your child's attention away from the camp program. Your child can play with items from home while she is at home, and should enjoy the new experiences at camp while she is there. It's also a good idea not to send a cell phone. If you feel he needs to have one for safety, tell your child it must be kept in his backpack or other safe place designated by the camp staff, and not used throughout the day. Most camps have landlines that can be used by the campers if they need to call you. Easy access can make homesickness worse. Missing parents is a common response to attendance at camp. Even day campers can have some level of separation anxiety. Talk about it beforehand and let your child know that you are excited for the opportunity he has to meet new people, learn new things, and have new experiences. Reassure him that you will be waiting at the end of each day to hear all about it. Homesickness is discussed in depth in the Resident Camp video. A lot of your child's success at camp depends on you, your preparation, and your attitude. Be calm and reassuring, and know that this experience is one that will stay with your child for a lifetime. Use the suggestions presented here to get ready for a successful day camp experience. Don't be afraid to ask questions of camp staff prior to arrival. I am confident they want your child to have a wonderful time away from home. I wish to leave you with this final thought. There are many memories we keep from our childhood. But if you went to camp, your most treasured one is probably of your time there. Many of our camp counselors say they sought out employment at our camps because of the fond recollections they have of their own childhood camp experience. Someday, your child will remember fondly the days she spent at camp because she was prepared for an amazing experience. Now go outside and play.